Hi, welcome to my testing of these four 13 megahertz NFC stroke RFID modules. Okay, I'm going to start with this mini RFID RC522, which as you can see on the back is also an MHET Live. Okay, the test is very simple. We take a card, we move it to the reader, we get a measurement on the tape measure. This is about 20 mil. So this, I think, is a fair example of a, a real-world test. And I'm going to perform the test with a card and a tag and an NFC ring. Here we are with a tag. The tag's doing better than the card did. That's about 30 mil. And I think it's because the board has an antenna, PCB antenna, that is about the same physical dimensions as the antenna in the tag. Whereas in the card, the antenna's much bigger. And I think the matching in size helps. Not just the RF power and all that kind of gubbins. I think the antenna size matching helps. Well, here we are. This is the final test for this NFC reader. And the one of most interest to me is how does it work with rings? As you can see, the rings have a sweet spot, there's only one small 4mm section or so of the ring that you can work with, so if it's rotated, it's not going to work. But even then, as you can see with this card, even when you know where that spot is, you can only manage about 3 to 4 millimeters. So you've got to be, you know, bang on the money to get this to work, and I don't think this is a good match. Uh, the rings are not very good. This reader doesn't work with rings that very good. It's just a poor mismatch of equipment, I suppose you could say. As you can see, it's pretty damn useless. Okay, moving on to our second card. This is an RC522. Once again, the model number is based off the chipset. And it's an RC522 Mini version 1.1, part number 006. Now this is also SPI only. There might be a 4-pin header mounting area at the other end of the card. That is not I2C, that is not serial, that is just for mechanical mounting of it to another PCB so it doesn't wobble about. Um, this is SPI only. Okay, now we're down to the cheapest one that I think you're going to find on eBay. It's terrible. Do not buy these cards. They are the worst of the worst. And you'll think there's something wrong. And it is. These cards, modules, call them what you want, are just crap. As you can see here, starting with the tag, it manages about... 15 millimeters it doesn't work at all at 20 millimeters performance wise I mean this is the same tag same power supply same Arduino this module is just crap and I bought three of these to, and two were from one supplier and one from a third to see if you know that was the answer and it isn't they are just crap do not buy these modules now they still can manage a card up to about you know 40 mil four centimeters maybe because as i said it's the antenna matching again in size between the bigger pcb coil and the bigger coil in the card that this can do four centimeters where some of the others only do 
three and now it's failed altogether but there we are we're back to four again yeah no good for tags not as good for tags now testing it with the ring well no it doesn't work at all uh, you might get you know two millimeters a millimeter out of it but nah it's just no matter what you do they don't work with these it's just not a match made in heaven so if you want to use an nfc ring do not buy these big blue modules cards whatever okay now we're on to the most expensive of the four and um, i paid extra for this one because simply it does have i2c and that's what i was wanting to use it does do spi as well and it has a serial output so you can use this just about any way that you want testing this module with a tag we can see that we're getting the best tag performance we've seen so far which is at about four and a half centimeters five centimeters 50 mil from the surface of the module um, that's better than any of the other three by at least 20 mil with a card well eight centimeters definitely seven and a half centimeters which beats the other modules by about mm, 30 mil it's yeah he, he puts out a good signal that also shows that the distances achieved with the other cards were not a fault with the other modules were not a fault of the cards or the tags it was the modules and now as you can see with this with the ring we can get about eight millimeters um, from the surface and once again that's about nearly double what we've had off the other modules i mean eight millimeters isn't a great amount but if you're building these into the handles on doors then as you put your hand over the handle you're going to kind of be within a centimeter or so of the distance so i think you could use these for ring activated handles we can swap this one for the other ring and as you can see bringing this one in we get about 20 mil which is pretty damn good for a ring so this would definitely work if you wanted to use this ring for opening doors and if you could somehow get the module to be molded into the door handle then as you put your hand over the handle you should be within you know 20 mil and you should be able to use it to unlock doors and things which is the plan that i've got for this which is why i was interested in which module did the best ring performance is because i want to wear one of these and i want to build the module into the door handle of my van so that as soon as i grab hold of the door handle it reads the nfc and it pops the doors it'll be interesting to get that working it wasn't possible with the brew modules that i bought but this one as though even though it's more expensive i'm just gonna have to put my hand in my pocket and buy a few of these so there we have it the answer to which is best it seems you get what you pay for with these modules you don't always but this time you do if you want the best performance buy the more expensive one of this for and if you want to see what happens with this module and how this project of an automatic door opener uh, for my van and the van alarm then subscribe to my other channel because that's where I'll be be installing and fitting it on the van on the other channel once again thanks for watching hit the subscribe button if this kind of thing is of interest to you and if you're into modifying vans for camping then go to the other channel subscribe over there or subscribe to both thanks for watching